Hello everyone and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you are new here, can you hit on the subscribe button to subscribe? If you are old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple Facebook restaurant banner in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the Facebook banner size is 851 by 315. So I have it over here. And then you can choose to make the resolution 300 or you can increase it maybe 600 and then you click ok when you are done and the first thing that i'm going to do is import my picture so the first picture that i've got over here is this fast food picture that i downloaded from google of course you can use any like i downloaded some two more so you can use any of them so i have i want to use this one first Afterwards, maybe I can place this one in so that you can see how to change it when you want to. Alright, so when I import it, I'll click OK. And then I'll right click and go to rasterize layer so that I can make some changes to it. So perhaps we can press Ctrl U to add some small saturation to it to make it a little bit saturated. Just like this. And then you click OK. And then you position it very neatly now what i'm going to do next is add a shape to my banner so what i'm going to do is select my pen tool and i'll make sure that i have here to be shape instead of path i'll make it shape over here so i'm going to start from somewhere around here and make a shape like that and then i'll get to this part right and then i'll go around like this and get to the initial points and break it over there all right so i'm going to double click over here to change my color to something white like this and then you can transform it out by pressing ctrl t so you can bring it over here on board like this all right now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate and change the color to something nice I'm just blending some colors so you can take your time to also blend yours yes so i'll just push it to the right side and have something good looking like this and then i make another duplicate and then change the color back again to white because i want the white background so i'll just drag it to the right side like that also and then when it gets to this point that would be okay for me so i'll go ahead and select my rectangle to draw a rectangle change the color to something like this and then i'm going to place it over here press ctrl t and then i'll rotate it small like this and push it inside right so i have something like this and then i can make a duplicate instead of the copied one i'll choose the main one and then change the color to something like this let's try this color right and then you push it down i think this is good so we, ma we maintain it like that now what i'm going to do next is just add the text to or perhaps the name of the restaurants the i don't know a food joint anything you want to name it so i'm going to use Helvetica in Serrat, my favorite font for the test. And I'm going to write, you know, um, food joints. I think that would do. That name sounds good. And I'll press Ctrl T to transform it out and bring it here. So I'll position it very neatly like that. And then I'm going to change this color. So I'll select this color. I'll change that one to... Uh, this color over here so yeah i think that looks good and i'll click ok when i'm done so any other thing you want to write down here you just select the test tool and then you add the test so i'm going to quickly add this particular test that i've written over here So 
so just like i said earlier on anything you want to add this is just a simple test that i have added to my banner it is very simple to make you just select the test tool and then you add your test and transform it we want now i'm going to copy that one out and perhaps add something like you can call so and this one is just my contact it's nothing new so you add your contact and then perhaps you add something like an email so an email um just call me and then this one too should be ready just like that now the last thing that i would like to add is something like your social media account so if you've watched the previous tutorials of my channel ads this will be very simple to you so i'll go and open my social media icons over here and then when i want to select one i'll just select the ecliptical market tool and then i'm going to make the selection like that so i'll press ctrl j to copy it out and send it over to my banner so fortunately for us this one has the background to be white so it's going to blend with the color so we don't need to make any more adjustment to it so all that we will do is make sure that we select it or we copy it out and then bring it over to our banner and then we set some rules to guide us so i'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the icons so when all is said and done you just have to select them and then you position them somewhere around here and then you can give them a common name or some maybe you have a common name for your facebook um instagram and snapchat or which mine is say uh, you know since you can search me on or facebook on you know graphics and then you can add any other thing that you want to add so this is very simple to create and i think it wouldn't take you more than 10 minutes or so and i think any other thing that you would like to add would be at your own disposal so thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments and any other thing in the sec comment section below um, video ideas are welcomed in the comment section below and i'll make sure to attend to all of them Thank you once again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Innocent here. Bye.